it's this incredible wall of stacked stone with the, the concrete peeling off of it and the ferns growing through that I find so visually compelling. Hey everyone, I'm Marianne Mitchell. Welcome to Whole Artist Mastery, which is all about owning your true authentic voice, making compelling work, and showing up in the world in the way that you want to be an artist. So it's summertime here at the farmhouse where I live in the greater Philadelphia area, and it's the perfect season to focus on the sensory experiences that we have and how our sensory understanding of the world informs our visual language. So how does taste, touch, sound, smell, and sight give form to the way that we use line, color, shape, value, and texture? And how do we use visual language to express an emotional frame of mind or, or something that goes even deeper than that, something that touches our unconscious intuitive voice? And it's our senses that are really at the foundation of our emotional uh, language and our intellectual thoughts and ideas and then how visual language is used to express our emotional and intellectual self and how our sensory experiences is really at the foundation of all of that. So I'm going to show you around a little bit here at the farmhouse and show you some of the things that I've been inspired by in different sensory experiences and then we'll end up in the studio where I'm going to make a little painting based on my um, sensory experiences that I'm sharing with you and how they may inform the visual language that makes the painting. I want to show you this wall because while you've seen the beautiful flowers that we have here in the barn garden, it's this incredible wall of stacked stone with the, the concrete peeling off of it and the ferns growing through that I find so visually compelling. One of my favorite smells in summertime is mint. So I always grow some mint and I have some right here. Take it off the top and I wish you could smell it. I, you know, it's just a, a wonderfully indescribable smell. And while we've been walking around, I'm showing you some of the area that um, surrounds the house and the birds are constantly chirping. It's really incredible. So Remy also loves being outside in the summertime. And he also loves just sitting in my lap and cuddling. And I love it too, because he's so nice and soft. And, and he's saying, yes, yes I am. I'm a wonderful, wonderful kitty cat. So I always tell everyone working with me that before you start a painting, you must eat something because when you're in the flow of painting, you forget or don't even feel hungry, but you are unaware that you're running low on energy. And so you need something to sustain you for a longer period of time. So here I am eating watermelon and it is the taste of the summer to me. It's the quintessential summer taste. So have a little bite. I've already had a few pieces and I'm ready to start.
as always, it's impossible to predict what comes out of you when you start in Reckless Abandon or when you start any painting, really, at any point in time. However, I can tell you that the thing that really came forward for me was the taste of that watermelon. And so as you saw, I started with the red. And then there's something about summer that calls to me this kind of bright green, lime green. And when I pulled the squeegee across the surface here, I made these wonderful lines, which reminds me of the wall a little bit. Now, I want to make it clear that I was staying away from a direct uh, sensory depiction with my visual language. I was really trying to, trying to feel my way into the experience that I was explaining to you. So, full disclosure, when I'm explaining the sensory experience and then making the painting, the connection is maybe a little less from deep inside me and a little bit more from my conscious thinking. So as I go, if I continue to use this experience as a foundation without me being aware that it's a foundation for paintings, I will show you what comes up. So I hope this was informative for you. You know, the more we get the message out about how our um, authenticity really grows out of our awareness of who we are and how that informs your and our own particular use of language, visual language, and how the physical um, medium that we're working with is the conveyor for our, our voice and how that fully integrates and becomes a whole experience the more people are going to be making whole art. So like the video if this was interesting and informative for you. And um, I'd love to hear your comments in the chat feed below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next discussion. Thanks so much for watching.